Hey guys, it's So Fashion Week TV and I am coming through with another Sewing 101 video for you guys. Now this video is going to be specifically on how to read and understand commercial patterns. So now for me, when I first started my sewing journey, um, ad hoc sewing got really old to me really quickly and I was so anxious um, to start utilizing commercial patterns to create garments. Uh, so I went into the um, to the store, Walmart in particular, and I started purchasing all of these patterns. And um, when I got home, I realized that I didn't really understand how to use them. And then the other thing was that I had went out before that and purchased a bunch of fabric, and I didn't know how to tie the fabric in with my pattern. Did I have enough fabric? Is the fabric that I'm using appropriate for the garment that I'm trying to make? So on and so forth. So what I'm going to be doing today is helping you guys to understand how to read a commercial pattern so that you can avoid some of the snafus that I've come up against in my sewing journey. This is a simplicity pattern. It's pattern number 1877D5. So if I can call your attention to a couple of things on the front side of the um, pattern, the first thing I will call your attention to is where the pattern number is housed. That's always going to be in the upper right hand corner of your pattern. Now, if there are any sub numbers that, um, that correspond to your pattern number, that probably does mean that there's different size variations to your pattern. So that's also something that you wanna definitely pay attention to. You wanna make sure that the garment or that the pattern that you've purchased accommodates the size that you need. So for this pattern, D5 corresponds to a size 8 through 18 pattern. If you needed, let's say, a 22 or 24, this pattern would not work for you. You would probably need to look for um, the sub number that corresponds to the size that you need. So definitely make sure that when you're going out and you're purchasing patterns, that the size corresponds to the size that you need. The other information that I would like to call your attention to on this pattern is the front of the pattern. This is also very important because um, if there are different um, style variations of the garment, you'll see that information pictured on the front. And what you also see is that they'll have the um, garment pictured in a solid color, and then they'll also typically have it in a print. Um, so it kind of gives you an idea of the different um, style variations that you could choose from. The front of the pattern is just very important because it tells you how many different things you can make from the pattern. Sometimes you'll be able to make a dress and it be short sleeve, long sleeve, or sleeveless. Um, sometimes it'll be a multi-pattern where you could not only make a dress but you may also be able to make a pant or a skirt. Um, so yeah, that's basically the front of your pattern in a nutshell. So now let's go ahead and move to the back of the pattern. Okay guys, so pictured here is the back of a commercial pattern. So as you can see, there is a wealth of information housed here. So much information that it would probably intimidate most people new to sewing. So what I have done is I've color outlined each section to make it easier to understand. So the first thing I'll call your attention to is the pattern number that is housed in the upper left hand corner. The pattern number is usually always housed in this section on the back of a commercial pattern. Directly under that is the total number of pieces included in your pattern. Okay guys, so moving on to the section outlined in orange. This is your pattern variation section. And in this section you'll usually find a line drawing which show the variations available and give you more design details such as dart, seam line, sleeve options, and lengths. Um, you might also see different views of the garment. So for instance, view A might be with long sleeves, view B might be with short sleeves, and view C might maybe sleeveless. Okay guys, so moving up to the top of the commercial pattern, this is the section outlined in red. Here is where it describes the type of fabric that will work for the design. Okay, directly under the red section is the blue section. Now this is also a very important section. Do I need a zipper? Do I need elastic? Do I need buttons? That's a great question. And this information will always be housed in the notion section of your pattern. 
Okay, moving on to the section outlined in green. This is the body measurement section. Here is where you're going to take your personal measurements at the bust, waist, and hip. And then what you're going to do is compare those measurements to the measurements on the pattern envelope. In some cases, you might fall between sizes or you fall over two or even three sizes like most people often do. In that case, for a dress or a blouse, you should usually use your bust size or high bust if you have a large cup bust size. And for the skirt or pants, use your hip size. Okay guys, so moving on to the tables outlined in yellow, purple, and pink. These tables are used to determine the amount of fabric we are going to need for our design. You follow your pattern size down from the top and the view option over from the left to see how many yards of fabric you need. You may need to look across several rows to find your main fabric, lining, any contrast fabric, or interfacing needed. Please note that different fabric lengths will be given for different widths. A narrower 45 inch fabric may need a greater length than a wider 60 inch fabric. The last box on our commercial pattern, also outlined in green, is our finished garment measurements. You can use this information if you are between sizes to determine if you should cut the smaller or larger size. You can also use this to help decide on size if you prefer a closer fitting or looser fitting than shown on the model. And that, guys, is how you read a commercial pattern. I hope that you guys have found this video helpful. If so, please be sure to post a comment below and thumbs the video up for me. If you have not already done so, please be sure to click that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.